From the pages of WWF Magazine, we take a look at the October, November, 1984 issue. Welcome to this episode of From the Pages of WWF Magazine. This episode, we take a look at October, November 1984. Hulk Hogan, Wendy Rector. Let's get into the pages. All right, guys, here we are, October, November 1984. On top of the world, number one champion Wendy Rector takes title. Some fabulous moolah that had it for like 30 years. There you go. Restoring Our Lady Liberty. This was in the 1980s. I remember that when that was being restored. There's the action line again. I wouldn't suggest calling it because who knows what it is now. Those 976 numbers cost a lot of money. In this corner, again by Lord Alfred Hayes. Who knows if you wrote it. Hulk Minneapolis. Oh, he's got the new belt. That's the one with the red lettering. Man, going to Minneapolis, he just was throwing it in Nagania's face. Tuesday Night Titans explodes on the USA Network. What a great show this was. Look at that. Vince is, is uh, you know, pretending to be Johnny Carson. <clears throat> More Tuesday Night Titans. Who would have thought of a wrestling talk show other than Vince McMahon? Mr. Fuji. He's sort of in that in-between of wrestling and managing. Adonis and Murdoch. What's it say? Are they too tough for the WWF? Madison Square Garden inducts Vincent J. McMahon, wrestling impresario. He had a long history at Madison Square Garden. Oh, look at the programs. Back issues of the programs. Oh, now he's B. Brian Blair. But he wasn't part of the Killer Bees yet, so maybe he took that name before. But then again, over there it says Brian Blair. <laughs> the boot camp match between the Sarge and the Iron Sheik it was no holds barred and everything was legal. Even though the Sheik has the upper hand here, the Sarge prevailed. Mad Dog Vashon really is mad, mad, mad. Lopper and Richter versus Albano and Mula. The match. The thrill of victory. There's Wendy Richter winning that title for the first time. She won it again for a second time before they then stole it from her in the original Screwjob. But that's years... That's a year or so later. Coming in the December issue. You could win Andre's Limousine, Wendy Richter, Different Views. What's new in Georgia Championship Wrestling? The winner of the second Lunch with Your Favorite Wrestler contest. WWF welcomes the Freebirds, plus many more exciting features. Well, the Freebirds notoriously had a very, very, very short stint in WWF at this time. It was basically Andre the Giant that kicked them out. Um, but what's new in Georgia Championship Wrestling? You can see at this time in the previous magazines, they really kind of blurred the line between the different federations and stuff until Vince finally started acting as if no other wrestling organization existed. 
One day a champion, the next day a challenger. Mula, the interview. I'm sure that's real. Ken Patera, the Olympian strongman. Mr. Fuji versus Tiger Chung Lee. Oh, we see Jesse, but we're not there yet. Pick him up with the official Debitaire foam hands. The best is back, Greg Valentine. Yep, from the Mickey and Maud set. All the wrestlers that were uh, in that movie. David Magazine, only 1447 for eight exciting issues. Ventura and Putsky locking arms and locking horns. That was a pretty big feud. Put that there. You can see. Jesse the Body Ventura. Polish power, Ivan Putsky. Kamala. Back from the hills come the moon dogs, who still have many wrestling mysteries unanswered. Moon dog spot, moon dog rex. History library again. The match to remember: King Ripper Collins versus Raul Reyes. Honolulu, Hawaii, December 1969. Pin up. Jersey Animal Steel. WWF Mailbag. The Hulkamania Collection. Now we got actual pictures of the merchandise. Looks a lot better than those drawings they had in the previous issues. And the camel clutch Andre style. Okay, guys. That was a look at the October, November 1984 issue of WWF Magazine. Next episode, we're going to take a look at the final issue of 1984. The December, January, 84, 85 issue, which obviously came out in 1984. So that would be the final issue of 1984. So from the pages, till the next time, have a good one.